Hey students, are you puzzled and worried about your writing skills? You need not worry. I am here to help you grab full marks in editors when writing questions. In today's session, I am going to let you know all about its correct format, its features, its tone and the language used and of course some mindful tips for drafting an effective advertisement. Hello dear students, this is Susma Singh and you are watching Booster Classes. Well, you all must have observed that advertisement is a short answer type question in the English paper and according to a new examination pattern of CBC, this time it will be in MCQ's form. But these questions, these MCQs require students to recall the correct format, essential details, its types, its applications and facts of advertisement. Because after all, you all will be choosing the correct answer from a set of potential answers. So first and foremost, let me tell you what is an advertisement. An advertisement is a potent tool to attract the attention of the public and the masses regarding various products, services or even publicizing a job vacancy or matrimonial proposal or even for giving information about missing persons, documents, pets and so on. Newspapers, magazine, TV, radio, leaflets, pamphlets etc. are extensively used for advertisement. Moving ahead, now let me talk about the types of advertisement. So there are two basic types of advertisement in the newspaper. Firstly, we have classified advertisement and the second type is commercial or display advertisement. Now under classified advertisement, actually these advertisements are divided into categories or classes according to their subject matter and the function they perform. So basically we have eight categories. Situation vacant are actually written by an employer itself. Situation wanted another category which is written from a job seeker side. Toolet ones looking for the tenant. Accommodation wanted uh, will be for the ones looking for space on rent, for sales, pur purchase, travel and tours lost and found, missing, matrimonials and educational we also have. Now commercial advertisement on the other hand actually are designed for commercial purpose as the name suggests. Now when are you writing an advertisement it is imperative for you all to know the essential details of both the types of advertisement. So let us talk about uh, the main characteristics of classified advertisement. They are actually placed by individuals to promote goods or services available or needed. So brevity is the principle as the advertisers are built by the word or the line. Do not make full sentences for classified advertisement. They are written in short sentences, phrases and words. They are actually simple, factual, occupy less space and are very economical. Now clearly for this uh, classified advertisement, uh, clearly state the category like for sale, to uh, toolet at the top, etc. at the top as a heading or title and give all necessary details in brief using commas. Mention, don't forget to mention the preferences. Salary, rent, price, cost and discount should also be indicated very clearly. Always add contact details in the end, either in the form of uh, means address you are going to give and either the name, a phone number or email ID. And put the matter in a box and the prescribed limit for classified advertisement rather both the advertisement is 50 words so never exceed the word limit provided to you now talking about uh, commercial or display advertisement they are actually for publicity and promotion of products services or some events so visually they are very attractive there should be perfect blend of content and style uh, commercial advertisement, they occupy more space and so they cost more. They are no more economical. 
Now, this uh, should also have catchy slogans, punchlines, witty expressions and pictures or sketches just to attract the customers. Varying font and size or shape should be used. Details regarding the product, event and courses should be clearly mentioned. Even don't forget to mention special offers or discount if any. And as in the classified advertisement, uh, always at the end, don't forget to give the contact details like issued by name of the organization or the institution or agency and so on. And this advertisement is also, commercial advertisement is also put in a box and the word, the prescribed word limit is the same, that is 50 words. The correct format for classified advertisement is as follow. It should begin with a centrally aligned heading in bold or uppercase letters. Then leave a line and from extreme left align start writing the subject matter or the content. Always add uh, contact details in the end in the form of name, address, email IDs and or phone numbers. And remember, nowhere in the answer you are supposed to provide your personal details. Then uh, put the matter in a box, never exceed the word limit, that is uh, 50 words. And always take care that uh, it should be, talk, uh, take care of the layout, the presentation. It should be neat, clean with good presentation. Well, students, in the next few slides, you can check the essential details and sample examples of classified as well as commercial ads. Just remember, do not use the same descriptive characteristics for each type of classified advertisement. It's imperative for you all to know the essential details of each categories so that you can draft an effective advertisement. Kindly go through them. Uh, heedfully and be benefited. For example, if you need to draft an advertisement regarding situation vacant, the essential details for the same will be that you preferably begin with uh, wanted or required, name the company and indicate the post, state the qualification, age and experiences, don't forget to give preferences, definitely mention salary and perks, state the mode of applying, or interview procedure and as I have already explained or while format that uh, towards the end don't forget to mention the contact details it can be uh, give the complete address and the no phone number either phone number or email ID here check the important points for sale and purchase type of classified advertisement with examples. The essential details for this type of examples are that you can begin with available for sale or purchase. Mention the type of accommodation, vehicle, property, household items. Then uh, you're supposed to give brief description. Uh, in the form of size, flow, location, brand, model, mileage cover, color you can talk about. Definitely the working condition, whether it is in an excellent working condition or what. Uh, you quote, you may quote or you uh, may just write uh, price negotiable and expected price also you can just quote down. And don't forget to give the contact details. Please go through the sample which is uh, put up for you here. Let's now look at some other types of classified advertisement with the help of example and note the essential details which must be included. So here we have a toolet category of advertisement. Now for your better understanding, here the same subject matter has been put up once as a classified advertisement and on the other hand as a commercial advertisement. So see the difference students that classified advertisement are always written in a simple and concise language whereas commercial ads are written in different size and fonts and contain a lot of illustration punchline slogans in order to make them attractive.
one more sample of classified and commercial advertisement for you all for your better understanding kindly go through them and learn how to draft an advertisement effectively well now this was all about the advertisement writing i really hope that you like this video and this will help you to draft an effective advertisements to develop uh, expertise in drafting classified advertisements students you are advised to read classified advertisement columns of leading newspaper and yes if you are new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching